people welcome back to my channel this week on my channel i am doing blackpool week if you don't know what it is then go and check out monday's video where i explain it a little bit more but basically i am uploading a video every day this week in the lead up to blackpool pleasure beach opening weekend um, and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys my favorite blackpool documentaries I have watched a fair few documentaries on YouTube um, and if there's been any on TV then I've always decided to watch them. I love any sort of like history to do with just Blackpool and Pleasure Beach. Um, I love seeing how it was all made, how everything has changed and stuff. I'm not a big history girl myself but I love learning about the history of Blackpool and Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, so I love all of these documentaries, I have watched a lot of them numerous times um, and if you guys are looking for some cool documentaries to watch about Pleasure Beach, about just Blackpool as a town then this is going to be the video for you. I will link all of these documentaries in the description box so if you want to go and check them out you can um, and yeah let's go. So the first documentary, I feel like every single enthusiast has watched this documentary. It's such a classic. I'm sure you all know what I'm going to say. It's the, was it BBC? I'm pretty sure it was. The BBC Blackpool Pleasure Beach six part documentary. I'm just going to check that it was from the BBC because I don't want to get that wrong. So in this documentary, it is based in the 90s. Um, sort of like late 90s, I think it's like 1997, 98 I think it's based around and they deal with a load of customer problems, a ride breaks down, a uh, hot ice show, like they just go through like a load of stuff throughout this documentary um, and it has like Amanda Thompson in it, it has Jeffrey Thompson in it which just makes me so sad because he's not here anymore um, and yeah it's just like a really cool documentary about stuff that happened back then and it's a very like real um apart from some of the sound effects i feel like they've sort of added those in sometimes like the screaming and stuff like they've added those sound effects in because they just don't sound real at all um but apart from that the rest of it is just like completely real it's raw um and it's a six part documentary so there's six episodes to watch each episode i think is around like half an hour let me just double check I should know this because I've watched this documentary so many times. I kind of want to watch it again, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, each episode is around half an hour long. So it's kind of nice just sort of if you're having a day of doing absolutely nothing and you want something to watch, then this is a good documentary to binge watch. Um, and it's just, there's some funny moments in it. There's some like serious moments in it. And it's just nice sort of seeing how the park was back then and seeing how everything has changed since then um, and yeah it's just I feel like you're not a real enthusiast until you've watched this documentary like it's such a good documentary I absolutely love it I've watched it so 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 many times I really wish that they would do like an updated version of this documentary because obviously this was filmed in the late 90s the park has changed a lot since then so I feel like it would just be quite nice if they could do like another documentary like this but obviously have it completely updated um, and yeah I don't know it would just be it would ah! <laughs> so BBC if you're watching this video then uh, hit me up and I'll try and have a word with Pleasure Beach even though they don't really know that I exist but uh, we need to like sort something out so we can do an updated uh, documentary because that would be fab. <laughs> so the next documentary is a Valhalla documentary and I only discovered this like a few days ago um, and this is a really good documentary about how Valhalla was made and about all of the special effects and the grand opening that they had and everything. Like it's such a good video. I don't really connect with it on like a personal level because I have never ridden Valhalla. I have never ridden Valhalla myself so I couldn't really get into it as much as I wanted to but if you love Valhalla then you will love this documentary because it is so good. I think again it was around half an hour, it was maybe an hour. Yeah, half an hour long. Um, and again, it was just so weird seeing how like 
how much the park has changed since then because obviously it was like 20 years ago now um, and just seeing how they did things like they did things so differently back then their openings were so good like they had a whole like themed day of like Valhalla um, and they had Jonathan Ross there to do like the grand opening they had like a full-on media day um everyone was like dressed up as like vikings and stuff like it was just it looked so freaking good and i wish that they still did openings like that even just not at pleasure beach just at like any theme park like it would be so cool to see them do openings like that again where like all the staff get dressed up and they had like a full-on like parade and everything it was just so great if you're interested in how the special effects were made and how the ride came to be what it is today even though it's going to be closed this season but uh, yeah, it is a really interesting documentary and it was only uploaded a few weeks ago so I feel like a lot of people probably haven't seen it. So again, link will be in the description if you do want to go and check it out. So the next documentary is called The Experience Blackpool Pleasure Beach Documentary and this is a documentary that I think Pleasure Beach made themselves, I'm pretty sure. Um, basically the person who uploaded this, it says in the description that they bought it from the Pleasure Beach souvenir shop um, and they have obviously uploaded it to YouTube which I think is so cool. Um, and yeah, it's just basically like it's very similar to the six part documentary but it's all in one episode and um, it's 41 minutes long and it just basically takes you through the life of Pleasure Beach like through the experience of Pleasure Beach hence why it's called The Experience um, and yeah it's just a really cool documentary it's in like a VHS type form which I really like I love anything that is kind of like vintage like that like VHS effect I love that so much um, and again it's just like the history of Pleasure Beach I absolutely love it um, I love learning about it I love seeing how it's all evolved and how it's all sort of changed and stuff um, and I just feel like Pleasure Beach has a lot of history I haven't watched this documentary in quite a while so again when I've done filming this video I do kind of want to just sit and watch this documentary um, especially with it being Pleasure Beach opening weekend this weekend I'm gonna try and watch a load of vlogs and a load of documentaries to really get me like I mean I'm already hyped up for it but watching Pleasure Beach videos will get me even more hyped up and it just, oh my god, it makes me so excited. Um, so yeah, it's just really nice, like a really nice documentary. So it says in the description box, this video takes you through a brief history of the Pleasure Beach, it gives an insight into what goes on behind the scenes and the name behind the success the Thompson family give their personal views on what the Pleasure Beach and its continued success means to them. Um, so yeah, it's just a really nice documentary about like the history, behind the scenes, etc, etc. And yeah, it's just like a really nice sort of old vintage style documentary. And it is really interesting. If you love Pleasure Beach as much as me, and you're interested in like the history of it and everything, then that's a really good documentary to watch. So this next documentary, me and my parents sat and watched this last night all together which was really nice because we never really sort of watch like TV together like me, my mum and my dad like all together like it was just quite nice um, and it's called How the Victorians Built Blackpool and this was on Channel 5 a few weeks ago. I imagine that you can still get it on iPlayer so if it is I'll link it in the description box. This, they didn't mention Pleasure Beach at all in this documentary so if you're not interested in Blackpool sort of without Pleasure Beach then you're not going to like this documentary but I just love Blackpool as a whole like I love Pleasure Beach the most. But I do also love Blackport as like a town, a city, whatever. Um, so I found this documentary really interesting. They talked about the Blackpool Tower Circus, the Tower Eye, the Piers. Um, it was just quite nice. I was hoping for like a little bit of Pleasure Beach to be included in there. But, you know, it's, it's not a massive deal. Like, I know a lot of history about Pleasure Beach anyway. So I didn't really... I wasn't really that bothered but yeah they basically just talk about how Blackpool 
sort of became to be what it is today and how it sort of became like an iconic seaside place how it became like one of the first holiday places that people went to and stuff and yeah it was just really interesting they talked about how the piers were made um they talked about how the tower was made like the circus the tower ballroom etc etc and it's just a really good documentary again i feel like i'm repeating myself so much in this video but if you're interested in how like Blackpool itself was sort of made then you'll love this documentary um, and it was just nice like watching it with my parents as well and they talked about the illuminations which I really liked and they also talked about this hotel I think it's called the Imperial Hotel I think um, and that hotel looks so nice and me and my parents were saying that we really want to stay there sometime so hopefully we can do that at some point in the near or far future um because yeah it would just be so nice to stay there because it's got like a lot of history to it and it was like one of the first hotels to be built in blackpool so the next documentary is called blackpool pleasure beach where seagulls dare and this is a documentary about how the big one was built and like how it opened and stuff and you guys know me I love the big one so much it's my baby it's my favorite coaster on the planet so obviously watching this documentary I absolutely loved especially like watching it for the first time I just nothing beats when you watch something for the very first time like if you get what I mean and it's something that you absolutely love like I don't know I just love this documentary because it's how my baby was developed and not in like a um, you know sexual way, in like a roller coaster way, obviously. <laughs> a lot of people have uploaded this documentary, um, so there's like so many options of how you want to watch it. Some people have uploaded it in two parts. Some people have uploaded it as a three-part documentary. Pleasure Beach Experience have uploaded it as just like one whole video, which I think is the best way of watching it if you just want to watch it all in one go. It's about 17 minutes long, so it's really not that long of a documentary anyways. Um, but yeah, it's just super interesting. And if you love the big one, you will love this documentary. It's so nice like to see Jeffrey Thompson in that documentary as well, because like I said earlier, like he's not here anymore and it just makes me so sad. Um, and the big one was kind of like his baby as well. Like it was his massive project and his investment and just to see him be so proud of it and to see it actually to see it just go from like an idea to what it is now and how it evolved in this documentary is just so nice and it's just oh my god it's heartwarming to watch like it really is um so yeah if you love the big one you will love this documentary like it's so interesting and it's my baby so i absolutely love it <laughs> so my final one on my list isn't really a documentary it's just sort of like blue peter clips and like any sort of news clips that pleasure beach have been featured in so there's this one video where blue peter go to pleasure beach in the 80s um and they go and test out avalanche they go on revolution i think avalanche had only just opened so they went to like test it out and stuff um and they also went on revolution like for the first time like it was so cool and i don't know it's just like a really nice like video again about like the history of pleasure beach and everything you can tell like with all of these sort of documentaries being based around the 80s 90s early 2000s you can tell that like it's it was like such an iconic place and like it was so popular and so many people always used to go here and they still do go here but I just I feel like it's not as iconic anymore which is so sad but yeah you can just you can just tell within these documentaries like Pleasure Beach was the place to be and it was such an iconic like place like it literally oh my god it looked amazing um, but yes, that's, yeah, just sort of any, like, Blue Peter clips or any, like, news clips that the uh, Pleasure Beach has been featured on, I absolutely love. And like I said, I just love anything to do with, like, the history of Pleasure Beach. I love seeing, like, vintage videos of it um, and just seeing how it sort of evolved to what it is today. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of these documentaries I have mentioned will be linked in the description box. So if any of them do sound interesting to you, you can go and check them out in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final day of Blackpool week. Mwah. Bye. Be quiet, seagulls. I'm trying to film. I know people have tried to do like, no, I'm not going to say that. People are going to get offended by that. <laughs> um, previous, previously, no, no, that doesn't make any sense. It has a lot of, oh, what's that word? It has a lot of, oh my God, what is that word? A lot of heritage. Is that the right word? Heritage. No. Oh, I can't remember. Oh no, oh no, 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 this isn't good. Oh no, I'm just completely ruined that. Oh God, no, let's start again. I don't know, it'll do. That'll do a donkey, that'll do. If you knew better